People often wonder about how much to exercise. Duration, sets, reps, frequency, intensity. So we thought we'd make a very quick video to help explain. Now, ideally, to build muscle or gain strength, you want to be working out with an intensity where there really isn't much left in the tank after each session. Not every session should be like that, but it seems the best way to stimulate adaptations. But how much is that? Well, it depends. Let me explain. We all start out with a certain capacity in the tissue. When we exercise, we lower that capacity because we create a small amount of tissue damage. But the body recovers. It repairs the damage in a way that's actually stronger than what we started with before we exercised. This is called supercompensation. Eventually, the tissue returns back to its original resting state. If we work out again, the same thing happens. We damage the tissue, the body repairs itself stronger, and eventually returns back to neutral, etc., etc. In order to gain strength, we go through the same process of tissue damage, repair, and supercompensation, but instead of allowing the tissue to eventually return to its resting state, we work out again at the peak of supercompensation. If we do that, we create a little bit more tissue damage, but then the body recovers again, and it gets even stronger. Then we exercise again, when it's at the top of the arc, etc., etc., we get stronger, we get hypertrophy. Sometimes, if we're a bit too ambitious, we work out, which again causes tissue damage, but then we exercise again before the tissue has actually had time to recover. This creates even more tissue damage, and if we repetitively do this, we work out too intensely and too frequently, and never give our body a chance to recover, then we end up in trouble. That's how we end up injured. So it all sounds very simple, but the amount of tissue damage depends on the frequency, the weight, the reps, the sets, the rest between sets, and the intensity. And how quickly we recover after each session depends on how intense the previous exercise session was, plus your ability to recover after each workout. Factors that affect that include age, sleep, stress, diet, genetics, and others. As you can see, this is a very complex equation to work out, and especially having the same recipe for everybody. Thankfully, we can use what our body tells us as a guide. If you go into a workout feeling sore or tired, you probably haven't fully recovered. So the best advice is to start out slow and easy, dip your toes in the water with the amount of load and sets and reps and frequency, and see how your body feels. As you start to get used to it, slowly increase the reps and sets and frequency in working out. Keep in mind that the more intense you work out, the longer it takes to recover. If I bench press 5 pounds for 3 repetitions, I can do that many different times through the day. There's not much tissue damage, there's not much recovery. But if I were to max out on my bench press for 3 sets, I probably shouldn't think about doing bench press for many days after. I hope this introduction to supercompensation makes sense and helps you have a better understanding of how often and how intense your exercise should be.